Hey students, welcome to Unacademy Need English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. I hope you all have seen that uh, Supreme Court live hearing which we broadcasted on our channel. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to summarize that what is going to happen, and this is the main thing, students, that there will be the next hearing is on Monday, that is on 22nd of July. So in this video, I'll tell you that what happened in the courtroom today, and the main and the most important thing is this. Yes, 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 it is the most important thing. It is the most important thing. So basically, Supreme Court directed the NTA to publish the results of NEET UG 2024 exam on their website that is city-wise and center-wise masking the identity of the candidates. Right, students? So in today's hearing, what happened is obviously the arguments were there, right? And the uh, counsel who's presenting all the petitioners, right? He picked up a very valid point. He's like, he doesn't have the data, right? NTA has just released the result of 100 students on their website, right? So they do not have the data. How can they study that what is uh, happening in what has happened in different, different states in their different, different centers? One thing, the very important thing. So point by point also we will discuss. So this is something very important. And uh, CGI mentioned it very clearly that might be, might be the council who's presenting the petitioners maybe they will not get anything from that but at least at least there should be they should also get a fair chance so that's why they said and but if i talk about the nta council he was against it he was not favoring it as for him right there are many constraints right uh, there are many problems we should not do it like this but ultimately ultimately cgi mentioned it that you can just mask the identity of the candidate and city wise and center wise release the result so that the other council can have the fair chance this is the most important thing so here you guys can see right so in today's matter many things were discussed obviously right the petitioners council he started the thing with the uh, he started the story with the same things right he started the th uh, story with that leak part right the paper leak is there right he also discussed that the paper re-need should be there all of it all of it they, they discussed all the aspects even 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 the most important thing is that they discussed the data presented by the iit madras and mainly i'm going to focus on that for First and then students, then, then, then students, right, but then students, I will uh, share what happened next. Okay. So come to this point. So senior advocate Narendra Huda, who is representing, who is basically representing the lead petitioners. So he said in the court that there is a conflict of interest in the IIT Madras. I'll explain it. So if you remember, you guys can see the video on our uh, Unacademy Eat English channel as well. Right in that video, right, I have explained that bell-shaped distribution curve. Right. So, in the last hearing, CGI asked, right, the cyber forensic team, right, the government to analyze the data. So, if by analyzing the data, if they can present something, right, if they can figure out who are the beneficiaries of this, of these irregularities, that will be very good, right. So, IIT Madras, they analyze the data and they presented a bell-shaped curve, which shows the normal distribution. And as per this curve, as per this curve, there is no leak, right? It is just like the other examination, right? But right today, senior advocate Narendra Huda, he basically, he said that there is a conflict of interest in the IIT Madras. One of the directors of IIT Madras is a member of the governing body of the NTA. Actually, but IIT Madras conducted the JE examination for this particular year. And uh, you know that every year, different, different IITs, right, they conduct that examination. So the IITs that conduct that particular examination, the director of that IIT, they'll become the, they become the member of the governing body of the NTA. So one of the directors of IIT Madras, is a member of the governing body of the NTA. So they have run up the run the data analytics, taking the entire number. This is the first point, right? This is the first point. So NTA council was like, it was not like that, right? Uh, and uh, even they presented it, even they argued that uh, this uh, director, he himself didn't attend the meetings related to the need, but he, right, he sent someone else. So we cannot, right, we should not approve this thing. But again, senior advocate Narendra Hoda, he was like that we cannot rely on the data of IIT Madras. It is not reliable. 
it is not at all reliable moreover they mention one thing that they studied the data for all that 23 lakh 33 thousand approximately students who appeared in the NEET examination right the students that filled the NEET examination 24 lakh students but the students that appeared in the NEET examination 23 lakh 33 thousand something okay so they run the data for all the 23 lakhs so at what stage if 10,000 or 20,000 people have sneaked into it you cannot detect any abnormality right because you have considered 24 lakh students right so you cannot say right you you can even say that the 10,000 students they can come by back though right will not be able to detect anything so he suggested he suggested that from the year 2019 to 2024 they need to they should study the data for that top 1 lakh students why are why they emphasize that 1 lakh student students because medical seats right the 56 or 57000 are there in the government medical college remaining are there in the private medical college so approximately mbbs seats are 1 lakh so we should we should run the data for that top 1 lakh students right bachche so the correct procedure was to apply this process to 1 lakh 8000 people to be very specific, uh, precise right so nta clarified that a past director was a member of governing body not the current director but basically uh, like uh, whatever iit is uh, the, are going to conduct the examination for the J, right? They'll be the member of that governing body. So this is what this is. This is the something very important, right? So they put a question mark on this data. Other than that, right? Many other things were also discussed there, right? Like uh, why correction window? It opened again and again. It was also discussed there, right? So once uh, you know that uh, after the application forms, when application forms they are closed. NT opens the correction window but this time once again right they they basically ask the students to fill the application form actually but in Rajasthan Rajasthan High Court ordered the NTA to to let one student fill the application form it was the judgment of Rajasthan High Court so NTA was like whosoever wants to fill the application form they can right I hope you people remember that so near about 15,000 something students right 15,000 plus students they filled the application form and out of that only few qualified the exam right this is what CGI also asked and moreover in the month of April also in the month of April once again the correction window was open where uh, you know students cannot change their mobile number they, can, they were not allowed to change their mobile number their email id then the question was that why right then what else they can change in the application number why nta opened the correction window again why is it so right so it was a big question mark there okay so here we got to know that some students they change the language of the paper some students they uh, you know change the city for their center like they change their preferences right so out of that some students uh, you know they got the chance that their cities right the examination center cities were changed so CGI they also asked the data from the NTA that out of that students how many students move to different cities different states uh, basically different centers and uh, especially uh, out of that students how many students were there in that centers where all that leak and breach was there this is the one thing right but so this is also they check this time so that is why in today's hearing right the you know the arguments were there all the things were there right even 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 mr huda he also highlighted that in NTA's affidavit, right, they didn't mention that what happened in Jhajar, in Haryana, right, in Haryana, right, in a school, that principal of the school, right, she has given the interview and she admitted that we, we were we were asked to use the question papers of the Canara Bank. Basically, question papers, they are in the lockers of SBI Bank and Canara Bank. So, we were supposed to use the SBI Bank question papers. But here, but she was, uh, she got the instruction that she needs to use the question paper of Canara Bank. So, why is it so? Why it is not discussed? Why it is not mentioned in the affidavit? And Narendra Huda, even in the executive summary of the NTA's affidavit, they also raise many questions that, okay, fine, uh, leak is there, but it is not mass level, but it is at mass level. So this is what they discuss. The main highlights were, main highlights were that they discussed the question paper transportation, right? In Hazari Bagh mainly. So basically, right, question papers on 24th of April, this is what Mr. Huda said, 24th of April, they were dispatched by a private courier company and to 3rd of May, they, they reached to that respective exam centers. But in 
right uh, obviously right 24th of may it was dispatched so here they are saying that the cgi said that there are two possibilities of paper leak if it was leaked before it was in uh, banks or basically ultimately in a simple word if i have to conclude you then i'll tell you that what happened exactly that yes one second yes so when they talk about the question paper transportation right so on 24th of April, they were dispatched. Okay, but, but, but uh, in for some centers, they were dispatched on 28th of April as well. So obviously, as per the distance, the question papers will be delivered accordingly. That is something which we all can understand. Now, the point is in Hazari Bagh, what happened? Bache? Hazari Bagh, which is in uh, Jharkhand, what happened there? These question papers, they were not received by bank. They should be in the bank, bank lockers. But they were received by the principal of Oasis school. He received it, right? NTA council was saying that when they dispatch the question paper, seven layers of protections are there, right? Seven layer of protection is there, right? They deliver it properly, right? They check everything. But the point is, right, to this Hazari Bagh, the question papers, they were not sent to the bank, but to the OISIS school, to that principal. And moreover, it was transported in e-rickshaw, right? It was transported in e-rickshaw. So what about that security? What about that security? It was the major concern there. No doubt now that principal is in the custody, but the point is why? Why? So it was also discussed, right? It was also discussed. Now, when we talk about the Bihar, the Patna leak, okay? So even NTA council has mentioned that this Patna leak and this Hazari Bagh incident, it is related, right? It is related. How is it related students? That it was they, they belong to the same gang. So in Patna, they claimed that on 5th of May, on the exam day itself, right? So in the banks itself, like uh, after uh, after receiving the question papers from the banker person clicked the picture and then they solved it and then they send it to the Hazari Bagh also so this is these are the, the things that were discussed so that is why you know many uh, you can say that many discussions were there so chief justice of India said that there are two possibilities of paper leak if it was leaked before it was in the banks then the leak may have happened before May, May 3rd. Obviously, there are chances. It's not possible that someone is going to the bank or after even after the bank when they receive the paper, they are taking the picture and in two hours, they are solving the paper and they are uh, uh, giving that, uh, what do we say, that uh, answers to the students. Not possible, not possible. So paper leak is before of May, which is valid, right? It's a better hypothesis, isn't it? Isn't it? This is what they discuss, right? And either... And if it is on the exam day, like somewhere in between 8.15 a.m. when they received the question paper from the bank to 10.15, unlikely that leak happened, right? So this is also, it was highlighted. So evidence of telegram videos show solved paper were being circulated. So Mr. Huda said that it's not possible that in a telegram video, we cannot change the date, right? We cannot change the date. So it was also discussed there, right? It was also discussed there. So that is why, you know, so see and related to the change in the centers so basically cgi asked right cgi asked the nta that they need to present that data that how many students right how many students they changed their centers right bache so they need to right so nta council replied that in the name of corrections the applications applicants they change the center so nta so judges they asked for this data as well right they asked for this data as well so these were the things that were discussed and then the godra incident right then what was discussed students the godra incident so now in godra students what happened in godra the center head right he asked the students to pay him the money and then he will tell the other teachers the physics chemistry teachers and all to fill their answers to provide them the answers he asked the students to leave their omr sheet empty and then then teachers will fill up the answers so you know the district magistrate there they got to know they arrested them but 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 right the council who, who represent who's representing the petitioner he said that it's not possible it's not possible that they'll solve the uh, question paper immediately and they'll provide the answer maybe maybe they also got that leaked paper right that solved paper right so basically he's trying to say that paper leak is at mass level and we cannot differentiate that he said that we cannot rely on iit madras data plus the telegram videos cannot be edited so we need to consider all the th factors and cji said that no doubt there was a breach in that hazari bag right paper leak is there in Patna but we cannot just consider these two factors only or we cannot say that only 1 lakh students are getting admission in the MBBS college and remaining 23 lakhs are not getting so we should 
go for the retest. No, it's not like that. We should have that solid basis. If the leak and the breach is located to these centers only, right, if it is localized, then we can think of that in that way. Otherwise, otherwise, we should have something very solid to say that retest should occur. So, as so NTA, so finally, 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 this is the major thing of the today's hearing as i said in the starting also so they said that everyone should get the fair chance so even the council who's representing the petitioners they should get the data so that they can study because they, they that is their main limitation they were not getting the data to study so finally right everything will again be presented before the court right and then on monday they are going to take the final decision this is what they have mentioned right students so the even CGI directed NTA to re release the result by tomorrow, 5 p.m. But NTA said it will not be possible for them to provide it till the tomorrow. So then that's why CGI said that they can release the data, the students, basically the score of students on their website by Saturday, 12 p.m. And then the other council will study it and then we'll see what can happen on the Monday. So if you will ask me, ma'am, uh, what are the chances as of now we cannot commit right the judges they are giving their best because they want to understand all the aspects they have understood each and everything how many students were there in which center from uh, like they considered all the aspects if i have to say right they are even considering that in which centers if centers were changed that from that centers how many students are the top rankers okay so obviously for analyzing that they need time but i can uh, understand that how difficult it is for you to discuss to think about it again and again and not to get a proper solution and even regarding counseling so judges they're like after two days they'll uh, finally after two or three days they'll give the result and then we can think of the counseling so let's hope for the best students so one thing that i can say that if you uh, your marks are less than 500 and still you want to go for the need only please start your preparation now because you are wasting your time if you're just hoping for the need but if you don't want to go for the need and if you have decided that i want to go for something else then do that do that do not just wait do not just sit and do not just think that why me okay right right now you have to gather all your courage and you have to restart students because this is the only option that we have we cannot just stop we have to keep going okay i know it's not your fault but we cannot just sit we cannot just sit so just give your best students and i know you will do it right you have to believe yourself and definitely you'll change the game okay so take care students thank you so much everyone